U state. U state is nothing but uh, uh, this will help us to maintain the state in the functional component, and we can uh, track the state data, and we can update the data. So basically, uh, U state uh, have three different uh, section in the single line, right? So the first thing is actual state variable. We can retrieve the, the, uh, with the help of this variable uh, what are the values stored in the store, and the second one is uh, set count, right? Uh, this is kind of uh, say, uh, the function. So with the help of this function, uh, we can store, we can update the state variable. For example, here uh, the count is zero. So if we want to increase, then uh, whenever we call this function, we send the value to this. It will automatically update to the count. Um, let me show you. state or js so as i told um a hook is available only for the functional component that's what i'm creating functional component here uh, so state component right so like uh, the, we need to show the counter in h1 tag so there's a counter and we need to use the count variable here and for that we need to import the uh, particular hook that is a default hook which is provided from the react so use state right so we need to use this state with the help of that use state uh, hook we, we need to create the uh, provider and consumer right so for that use state so this one will be the count this is actual state variable and this will be set count this is actually uh, the function which we, which will help us to update the state variable and here uh, this is the initial initial value so i can say zero and oops to add so uh, so far i will put this one into the apache's file right so save it go back to the browser you can see the initial value right so what are the value we we added here so that will uh, reflect here so next we need to how to update the uh, particular state so that's a uh, thing so for that i am going to add the parent and so whenever the user click at that time this should be uh, increased right so for that i am calling and click so um, on click this is not a, a native method sorry na native event this is a synthetic event which is Build with React with the help of native event. So whenever you are typing some some code for your practice at that time, you need to uh, you need to recall whatever you learned from the previous sessions, right? So that's what I'm. I just replay. Um, so this on click is not a native uh, native event. This is a synthetic event built by React. So whenever you are uh, using synthetic event, you need to use the arrow function. So here we we are going to increase, right? So we are going to increase. Um, increase counter. Also, we want to decrease the counter, right? And for the manual space, so we have the current count value zero. And whenever the user clicking on plus, at that time we need to increase. So count plus one. And with the help of this function, it will update the state variable. And whenever the user clicking on decrease button, at that time we need to uh, decrease the value minus one. So save it and go back. So we have the two buttons. We have the counter. Whenever you click on, it will increase. Whenever you click on, it will decrease. But when you refresh the page, it will uh, delete it from the session. Right? And this is what I told uh, use state. Whatever whatever you are storing in the use state variable, that won't uh, that won't persist uh, across the session, across the sessions or across the tabs. So uh, use state we can use for the single page application. So if the user refresh the page at that time, definitely it will. Um, Remove uh, from the session. So if you if you want to store permanently, then you need to use local storage. Whenever the user refresh the uh, page at that time, you need to retrieve uh, from the local storage. So this is the way uh, we need to implement uh, use state.